Welcome to another edition of Carton's Cubicle Concert Series. Thrilled to have a legitimate prodigy here today, and that is Raul Madone, who's got a great album out called Badass and Blind. Raul, thank you for joining us here in the uh, cubicle. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. Let so let, let's talk about your life a little bit. <laughs> uh, I'm always fascinated by people who overcome what would amount to obstacles for other people. And how did you first wind up with a guitar in your hand? It was... Uh Literally, it was what was in the house, and so, you know, I was interested in music, so it, it was in the house. My dad owned a restaurant that featured flamenco dancing, and this is in New Mexico. So, uh, he, he basically, when he realized I was interested in playing guitar, he got me lessons with the with the guitarist. I was six years old at the time. Now, you have to, when you first learn how to play guitar, you have to learn by rote memory. You're not, you're not reading music, obviously, That's the way right. someone yeah. who was sighted would be able to read it. Now, right. Does that make it harder to learn how to play guitar? I, you know, I think, actually, I think what's some, a little bit more challenging, most guitarists that I've talked to that see tell me that they look at the fretboard to uh, sort of orient themselves. So for me, I have to get the, that's why I always like try to warm up before I play, no matter how long I've held the instrument, to literally get from, you know. So I practice this kind of thing. And what is that that you're doing? Basically, I'm just practicing going from uh, different jumps on the fretboard, not the back. So now, when you start playing, do you remember the first song you ever were able to play as a kid competently? Uh, well, you know, I, the first thing I learned to play was something called Sevillanas, which I'm sure probably wouldn't be familiar to you because... No, I know it means dumplings in English. No, Sevillanas is a, like a flamenco thing, but oh. the second thing I learned to play was Oye Como Va, so... C can I have a little, just a little taste of that? Well, that's an easy one. Anybody can play that. Mi rico now, could you always sing as a kid, too? Is that yeah. natural? Yeah, yeah. See, that's why I said you're a legitimate prodigy, but you seem to shy away from that term. You don't like that kind of tag. No, no. You know, I mean, I think, like, I've always kind of worked at it and worked at it. Like, I was good as a child, but, you know, some people, like, I, I've always just been somebody that slowly and steadily just works and works and works and gets really good. And now people say, oh, you're gifted genius and blah 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 but really it's just it's just just been a just kind of steady work so how do you ultimately get discovered a lot of kids can sing a lot of kids can play guitar some can do both what was the big moment in life when someone said hey this kid's special let's listen to this some, some more i moved to new york and i got a i got a spot on a show at carnegie hall called the movie music of spike lee and uh I, I, I sang one song at Carnegie Hall, and I started out with this. And the next day, they, they wrote about it in the New York Times, and that was kind of my... My so you actually got discovered because you could do a, uh, a trumpet sound with your mouth and not for singing or playing guitar. So how come, I always wonder, someone as talented as you, what's the, how come you never get that shot? Do they not want to give you a shot like that? Or <laughs> they don't recognize that you've got that kind of skill? Or you don't give them a chance to hear it? You know, I hate to say it, but talent is, is one part of it. In, in a way, yeah, they don't want to give it to you, but also... It, it, at least in my experience, you have to kind of go for it. Like, that's why after being with Shakira, I got this publishing deal with Warner, which gave me some money. I said, I'm, I'm leaving my comfortable situation. I was making a pretty good living, and I moved to New York City to, to completely re, remake my life. You know, and I, my whole thing was I'm moving here and I'm being me. I'm not doing wedding gigs. I'm not going to take any gig just to pay the rent. I'm going to be me, and if I can't do that, I'm going to leave. Well, to be fair, you did play the trumpet out of your mouth. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's part of... <laughs> that uh, might just be you being you. So let's let right. people hear how talented you are. Uh, what song would you like to play for us? I'm going to play the title track from, from my album, Badass and Blind. 
It's a badass and blind, and you're flying like Superman on the cover. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this is the title track, so let's hear Badass and Blind, Raul Madone. Thank you. Vapor trails and ticket sales from Budapest to Bombay. Crazy lines and neon signs, and everybody's willing to pay. Video streams and magazines, well, they all got something to say. But I stand alone without a clone, and I'm more than just okay. Cause I'm badass, badass, badass and blind. What I do is clear and true, it'll mesmerize your mind. Climb aboard this ship of rhyme, and what you've lost you'll find. When to me you listen close, your neighbors will not mind. Cause just like you, they'll listen to and leave their cares behind. Cause I'm badass, badass, badass and blind. When you Stand up to your fears, you will feel your heart stop. In the midst of getting free, you will feel imprisoned. Whether to be or not to be, what's the question is in no. Writing, rapping, singing, tapping my feet right on the beat. No matter if it's odd or even, I'll be dropping the mic while you're pitching and grieving for the loss of your state of mind. Cause I am killing with my badass rhythm and rhyme. Hip hop with harmony, fuck, are you kidding me? Write me a song, easy and strong. Make me feel good, I wanna sing along. Make it lyrical, magical, mystical, beautiful, radical, indefatigable, automatical, like a breathing in time with this music that I'm putting down. Cause I'm a teller of tales, a master of scales, a spinner of rhymes, and I'm a little bit ahead of my time. I'm a badass. And Trumpet again. Yes, indeed. That's like your thing now. You're the guy that does the trumpet. Well, you know, <laughs> the thing about it, it's funny because the thing about that is it's almost like it's with video, especially, it's something to do because people see that you're doing it and it, it's almost like that's part of the deal. Were you ever in awe of meeting someone? I know, I know Stevie Wonder did some stuff with you in the right. past, right. and uh, there's obviously a connection there. But uh, was there anyone ever a time when you got to meet someone? You're like, holy shit, I'm meeting so. Oh yeah, sure. It happened with Paul Simon actually. Um, I met Paul Simon, and uh, I'm usually pretty cool about meeting. You know, I've been in this business. You know, we're all just human beings. But I, I, I met Paul Simon, and I was like, oh my god, you're you're such a national treasure, and blah blah oh. blah. And he said, don't be a silly man. That's a That's, tough one. That was a quote. That's what he said to me. And I was like, okay, all right, cool. Nice meeting, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Then we then it was cool. Then we had like uh then we talked about stuff. But I I was I was cool that he just came into my dressing room and said uh, and then I met him at TED also. And I'll tell you the the story about that is you know, one of the things you realize when you're blind is that a lot of times when you meet people or when you're passing by people, you have this forced kind of a situation where you have to say hi to them because you have eye contact and, you, and then, oh, oh, he recognized me, so I have to say something. When you're blind, that doesn't happen. 
So I realize that when someone comes up to me, they really are coming up to me to say something. So I was sitting there at TED and Paul Simon comes up to me, whispers in my ear and says, man, I just watched you know, you play, it was amazing. And for me, that was actually almost more cooler than, you know, than, than the other time I met him because he had to come up to me and he knew that he could walk right by me and say nothing. Other than your own music, did you have a guilty pleasure that you would sing and play to of someone else, like a favorite song or favorite artist that you would do all the time? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't do, but my guilty pleasure growing up, e even as a kind of a music snob, was, was Van Halen with uh, David Lee Roth. <laughs> I just loved Van Halen with David Lee Roth. I just loved that kind of fast. Right. You know, David Lee Roth going for it and that kind of the Eddie with his chopsy, you know. I just loved it. Let's know? do one more song. What, what would you like to play? I'm going to play uh, another song from, uh, uh, let's see. The album, by the way, is Badass and Blind. Obviously, you can get the CD or you can download it, uh, iTunes and all that stuff, and Apple Music, you're all over the place. Which one do you want to do? Uh... I think I'm going to do... Yeah, let's do this. This is a song called Red, Green, Yellow. Red, Green, Yellow. Stop a moment for some conversation And then I run to catch the morning train Slowing down before I reach the station Just so I can run again Red, green, yellow Red, green, and yellow Red, green, and yellow Red, green, and yellow You say there's room for some negotiation And then you tell me that you've drawn the line I write to tell you of my confirmation Just so you can change your mind Red, green, yellow Red, green, yellow Red, green, yellow Red, green, yellow All this stop and go has got me crazy for my lazy long ago that I used to know Guess I gotta go So you can fall behind McKnightish in there picked up on that well listen Earl, it's a pleasure having you here thank you we're doing a 10th anniversary concert for me and boomer at nassau coliseum and if you're available we'd love to have you come play all right well but we don't pay for that though right, well, well, well. like we don't pay well let me rephrase that well, like, we'll give you something but it ain't gonna be a lot uh, we'll get you there we'll get you an uber <laughs> you know we'll make sure you get to the uh, <laughs> coliseum and back we're very cheap here yeah. not gonna lie to you well it's a pleasure meeting you the music's great. The name of the album, again, is Badass and Blind. It's Raul Madone, and I can't wait to hear more of your music along the way and hopefully uh, have you back on the show. Thanks for being here. Thank you.